another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of uh, Quick Hits on 3D uh, 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, it's, it's good to be back. Uh, I've been out of town. I've been sick. I'm better now. We're going to be coming back. Shows every day again. Uh, sorry for the delay. Sorry for the uh, inconsistent amount of shows, but we're back. Uh, please like and subscribe and share on all forms of social media. Please also go to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Like and subscribe to that channel. Help us get that monetized. Help us get that up and running. Uh, it's really important to us that you do that. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Lots of new content on that channel. Um, so even if you're not from Texas, there's great content on it, and uh, it, it goes to a great cause. So I, I great, I greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe to that. All right, let's get into today's show. And, and I hate doing shows like this, but um, we're going to have to keep doing shows like this as long as it is really bad scorecards. Uh, I, 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 I'm always going to call out bad judges. Bad judges kill the sport. Bad judges set fighters back. I'm not. I I thought Valdez won the fight. Okay, um, I'll, I'll be completely honest. I had it 114, 113 Valdez. I thought 114, 113 one way or the other. Uh, you know, was the right card. I, I thought it was that close. It was that kind of fight. Um, then you get the egregious score card. You get the 117, 110, which makes no sense. Um. That judge, that scorecard came from a judge, uh, a veteran judge named Stephen Blay, B L E A. Am I saying that right? Blay, Blay, oh, whatever. Um, he's come out and he's apologized for his card. The other two judges had at one fifteen, one twelve. I don't think terrible scorecards. One seventeen, one ten is pushing it. Um, you know, that means Valdez won nine rounds. Valdez lost the first four, so he can't win nine rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just an impossible scorecard. And Blaze's scorecard was so weird. Uh, I, I, he had him up after five rounds, in which he clearly lost four, the first four. The fifth was the first round that you could debate. Um, he scored the first four for Valdez. Uh, as the first four, I'm sorry, scratch that. After the first five, he had three, two Valdez. He had Valdez winning after five. I don't know how to respond to that. I don't. I don't know how to res- that. That that's too agreed. Uh, that that is a, a an awful, terrible, no good scorecard. You can't be a professional. Look, you can't be a professional judge. It's not that you had a bad day. You don't know what you're looking at. Um. It 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 it, it, it would be like you know in, in a football game if a guy's tackled at the twelve yard line, I call it a touchdown. It's like what? Like that's not even in the realm of things that could, you know, you didn't miss it. You just don't know what you're looking at, right? You know, if a baseball player hits the ball 20 feet fair and he calls it foul. What? Like, none of this, this isn't, these aren't things that we can disagree. You didn't miss something. It's just egregious how bad you are, how bad the call is. That, That scorecard stinks. Now, since he wrote a letter and since he apologized, right? Since he said he's sorry, nothing's gonna happen to him. But that's not right. He's incompetent. Right? Like, I, I understand that you think your card was wrong. But your card is so ridiculous that there's no way any reasonable person can get to this. So you need to you need to be suspended for a while. You need to be suspended and you need to go back to training. And we, you need to sit with real judges who know how to score fights and shadow them. And, and, and you can see what they're scoring, right? Then, then after you do that for a while, you can sit with officials, right? And, and you can score a fight, you know, on television and tell them what you see. If you pass those tests, then you can score fights again. But this one's too dangerous. You know, this is just too dangerous to have judges like this. And, and I'm not, you know, I'm picking on Blay. Because it's bad, but there are worse scorecards than this all the time. You go to your local club show to 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 
you know, Hagel Leonard, one of the worst scorecards I've ever seen in my life. Um, you know, Canelo Mayweather, you know, the draw, one of the worst scorecards he's ever us, right? Like, there's so many bad cards on every single level. It's, it's, it's a pandemic in this sport, and it, it, it's got to stop, and there's an easy way to stop it. You know, you just got to get judges, judges you think are good, pay them a decent amount of money so they don't have to be paid off, right? Like, if you pay them $3,000 and then Golden Boy offers them 30 allegedly, who knows, uh, they're going to take that money because they're not getting paid a ton of money to score the fight. So make it a career. Like It's their job. It's their profession. It's to score fights. Get a good group, 20, 50 judges, and they score your title fights. They score your you, you, in in Vegas, in Madison Square Garden, in Texas, and they travel. And they travel. And you pick three, and they travel. And then you score the judges, right? You score the judges. You know, this judge scores for aggressive fighters. This judge scores for, you know, the better defensive fighters. This judge scores for more precise punching. And 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 just like in baseball, this umpire has this kind of strike zone. This umpire has that kind of strike zone. This umpire, in ba- uh, this ref in basketball lets you get away with a little more physical play. This one calls a, a technical foul on Tim Duncan every time Tim Duncan plays, right? But you, you can keep a record. But what we have now has got to stop. I mean, I mean this is not... It's not okay um, to score to score fights this way. He, he had Valdez winning after five rounds. It's 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 in, incomprehensible. He ne- he never had Valdez trailing in that fight, huh? I, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. He said a couple of things I want to get into. He said he didn't want to score 10-10 in two rounds. Right, I want to address that. I'm fine with 10-10 scores. You know, don't have all 10 tens. You go back in the day, you had 10 tens cards, right? You know, go back in the day, it fights in the 50s. Judge, blah, 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 scores it seven rounds to five with three even, right? That's how they score fights. It's okay. I'm also okay with scoring 10 eight rounds in which there was no knockdown. Somebody dominates around, beats them up, give it 10 eight. I'm also fine with half point rounds. I've seen this in Argentina. I kind of like it, right? So you know, give me a, a round for Rigo, um, uh, the, 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 the last Regan down fight, where he lands three jabs, Casamora chases him around, lands nothing. Ten to nine and a half. You, you didn't give it ten ten. You scored it to the guy that won, but it's only half a point. So if the next guy comes back, if Casamora would have won the next round big, he gets it ten nine. Now the fight's not even, right? Like, I like that. So ten ten rounds, ten nine and a half rounds, ten eight rounds for rounds that are no knockdowns. I like that. You get a spectrum of scores. Right, so I'm, I'm I'm open to all of this. Um, another thing he said was I I I I, I want to get the second point. Crowd noise influence. It was a large crowd in favor of Valdez. Dude, you're a professional. You're a professional. If you can't block that out, you can't do the job. Uh, there was another thing. I was also dealing with photographers and cameramen all crammed up due to location. Um, of the champion Valdez in the red corner to the left of me. Uh, I was between the photographers uh, on the left of me. Uh, I would, considering these distractions, I honestly thought I would be able to do my job 100% no excuse. So he's saying that you know, there are people in his way. That's a, con- that's a legitimate concern. If you can't see the fight, you can only score what you see. If you don't see punches landing clearly, because photographers or whatever's in the way, you can't score it. Now, that's why we have three judges, because if they're blocking your angle, it's okay. The other two judges are going to see it cleanly. Now, I don't know how often you can use this excuse. I mean, what is the photographer, like a clown just following you around? I mean, it's possible. I, I if, it's, if it's true, and I'm not saying it is, that's, a, that, that, that's legitimate. I can't score it because I didn't see. If, if my... If my if my vision is obstructed, I can't score it. It may I can't really tell if it landed, so I can't score it. That's legitimate. Uh, but it, it can be fixed, right? Like it's a legitimate concern. I, I just don't know why it wasn't addressed prior to that. If you can't see, right, the photographer's gotta move. I'm not I'm not belittling the photographer. He's got he's got a function, he's got a job there. But it's not important as the job is the judge. The judge's gotta be able to see. The photographer can move six inches. 
two feet, whatever it may be. Um, and had he gone back, he would have scored at 15, 12, or 14, 13 for Valdez. Reasonable scorecards. Um, again, since he apologized, he's going to get away with this scot free. He's going to score another big fight. When he's admitted, he's incompetent. It was crowd noise. You're professional. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Please go to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel as well. I'm going to be uh, uploading an interview with Cesar Canto, who's fighting um, uh, Wild the Fury 3. Um, check out that interview. You'll see who he's fighting. Uh, really, really good name. I think you guys will be interested in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.